So this is pretty major breaking news and uh, probably very surprising to most of you clicking on this video. Um, now, this is not a story broken by me. This is a story broken by Racer Magazine and Marshall Pruitt. The link to that article is in the description below. Um, but I will say this, this was not a, a surprise by any stretch of the imagination uh, to me. Uh, this has been long rumored, a lot of discussion taking place behind the scenes about this, essentially since IndyCar, or sorry, Honda began signaling that they were uh, considering their IndyCar exit around uh, the time of last summer. And that is that the Long Beach Grand Prix uh, potentially is about to have 50% of its ownership stake uh, purchased by NASCAR. Now, there's a lot of subtlety in this, and by no means or stretch of the imagination is this confirmed yet? Is this happening yet? And I think it's really important to state that right off of the bat because there's a lot of time to go before we know anything concrete about this. But just know that this is legit, this is happening, and the question mark is going to be, uh, what will be the future of the Long Beach Grand Prix going forward? We'll try to explore all of that in this video. So let's discuss a few of the key points from this article. A lot of this is public information, uh, easy to find if you know where to look. Um, but essentially, the Long Beach Grand Prix is a 50-50 ownership split, which was uh, a relic of the Champ Car World Series era where uh, Jerry Forsyth and Kevin Kalkoven, uh, owners of the Champ Car World Series, also were able to purchase the rights to the Long Beach Grand Prix. Now, of course, since then, Kevin Kalkoven has passed away. His ownership stake, which is 50%, uh, is now being managed by his estate. Uh, and the understanding is that the Kevin Kalkoven 50% has, uh, has gone up for sale and they are accepting bidders uh, for that particular 50%. Uh, Racer is the first to publicly state that the 50% uh, owned by the Calcovins has been bid on by NASCAR. Uh, and the other kind of major part of this story that Racer was able to break is that Penske Entertainment is attempting to block that bid by NASCAR. Now, you know, months ago when I heard about this, the other name that came up was Liberty Media. Now, how serious a bidder they are, uh, I think that's questionable. Um, the question of whether or not, uh, you know, Formula One would be compatible with Long Beach. I mean, I certainly think they might want to be there, but uh, I think the NASCAR bid is much more real, much more legitimate, and much more of something uh, that will eventually happen. I mean, I think most entities who manage racetracks around the world and have racing series would would love an opportunity to get a hold of the Long Beach Grand Prix. It is one of the preeminent events here in the United States. It's pretty much the event that set the, the modern standard for street course racing. And from NASCAR's perspective, it makes a hell of a lot of sense because they've already proven that they can pull off a street course very, very well in uh, the Chicago area. And obviously, they're looking to expand that uh, particular brand of racing to different markets. And I think there's a whole lot of things that make sense about this. And if you, you know, even if you didn't have, you know, insiders that you can talk to, you could see a lot of the writing on the wall for sort of this uh, eventuality. The title sponsor of Long Beach is Acura, owned, of course, by the Honda Motor Company. Honda is, of course, one of the engine suppliers that currently is in the NTT IndyCar series. But, of course, as we know, with the drama regarding the hybrids and IndyCar's direction and whether or not uh, what, whatever their next regulations are supposedly will or will not be, Honda is unhappy with IndyCar. They have signaled that if things don't change, they are planning on leaving. And, of course, this comes at a similar time where... Honda has signaled that they have an interest in joining NASCAR. Uh, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that Honda uh, Honda it belongs or Honda is in IMSA right now. IMSA is owned by NASCAR, and if a if Honda moved to NASCAR, and uh, one could think that the Cup Series would slot in where the IndyCars are. 
There's a couple of other things from NASCAR's perspective. This makes sense. They've already sold a tremendous amount of the land that once made up uh, the Fontana Speedway. They have not begun the development that they said they were going to begin on a short track on the grounds of the Fontana racetrack, which leads me to speculate that they are holding off on beginning any construction on that particular short track just in case they need the liquid assets to bulldoze that, sell that land off, and make a bid for the Long Beach Grand Prix. And, you know, with the clash moving out of the Los Angeles area, at least for the time being, uh, the uh, a market that Ben Kennedy uh, has described as one of NASCAR's largest and most important markets is not currently being served by a race in the NASCAR Cup Series. Enter Long Beach. It makes too much sense. You no longer have Fontana. And the question of, of whether or not they would actually build a short track, I think, is very much in the air. Uh, and if you have an opportunity to take over one of America's premier races, uh, yeah, sell the, the burned out husk uh, that you left in the desert over there with, uh, with Fontana and take over Long Beach. It makes a ton of sense. Makes a ton of sense uh, for a lot of reasons. A few things that I've heard that weren't necessarily mentioned in the Racer article, which I think are worth noting, the rumor mill would tend to suggest that uh, a lot of the current management structure at Long Beach wants to get uh, through the 50th anniversary of Long Beach, and maybe then they would consider backing out. Uh, the 50th anniversary, if you're curious, uh, of the Long Beach Grand Prix is 2025. Of course, uh, the 50th running would have taken place uh, this year uh, had the uh, 2020 stuff not happened. And, of course, they missed a year. So um, the 50th running of the Long Beach Grand Prix is 2025. And theoretically, based on that, you would think the new ownership would take over in the year 2026. And if NASCAR buys it or Penske buys it, that would be 2026. And, of course, 2026 is an important year uh, for all of us to remember because that is the year that Honda's IndyCar contract expires. So if they're planning on leaving and they don't leave any sooner, that would be doomsday year from that perspective as well. Now, my guess is that Jerry Forsythe, uh, who is an open wheel guy through and through, probably doesn't want it to become a NASCAR race. And so the question, I think a major question is going to be whether or not Jerry Forsythe can figure out a way uh, to make a deal with Penske Entertainment to take over the race entirely, or if this NASCAR bid comes through, does Jerry Forsythe sell his 50%? And then you're asking the question, is 100% of the Long Beach Grand Prix available for sale at some point? And does if NASCAR buys the whole enchilada, uh, what happens then? I'm, I'm curious about that. Um, but I think I've seen a lot of cope online. And, you know, let me keep it real with you guys here. Because if NASCAR, buy, put it this way, Penske Entertainment would not be trying to uh, you know, block the sale uh, of this 50% share uh, to NASCAR if it meant that Indy cars would continue to race at Long Beach after the sale, okay? Like, let's let's make that extremely clear. If, if NASCAR buying this 50% included the provision that Indy cars would continue to run at Long Beach, Penske Entertainment would not be trying to buy it, okay? Because I've seen a lot of comments saying, oh, it's going to be a doubleheader. No, no, it's already doubleheader. It's a doubleheader with Indy car and IMSA. And I have a very serious bet that if NASCAR bought this 50%, the IndyCar series would not race at Long Beach, and it would be the NASCAR Cup Series and maybe some of their support series and IMSA. Uh, I, there, I just don't see a scenario where NASCAR owns that much of a percentage of this race and IndyCar's race at Long Beach. And to the ownership of Long Beach to the Grand Prix Association of Long Beach. How can you look at your investment and not say, looking at Chicago and looking at the hype that a NASCAR street race in Long Beach would create, that NASCAR would probably produce more money than an IndyCar race at Long Beach would? I mean, these are the facts of the situation. You look at where each series is right now, you would say NASCAR is on an upswing and IndyCar is on a downswing. Those are the facts. Those are backed up by TV ratings. 
Those are backed up by interest levels that you can clearly see on pretty much any social platform you go to. You can see the discrepancy. Um, so if you're a shareholder in Long Beach, if you're a stakeholder in Long Beach, if you're a sponsor in Long Beach, and you're looking at it objectively, you're probably saying NASCAR's the, the right bet. So I don't know. It's going to be like the article, the racer article states, it's going to be between the, the estate of Kevin Kalkoven and Penske Entertainment and NASCAR to come to a decision about who is the highest bidder and, and you know, ultimately what's best for the Long Beach Grand Prix. But again, if NASCAR has the cash and you're a stakeholder, I just don't see a scenario where NASCAR doesn't take this over. You know, I don't know. And maybe this, you know, Connor... Daly was on our, our show a couple of days ago. He mentioned that, that Penske Entertainment's been spending a lot of money behind the scenes in IndyCar. Maybe this is one of the ways that, that Roger Penske is going to step up to the plate here and and really do something that, that benefits IndyCar. You know, making sure to secure Long Beach would certainly be uh, an aspect that uh, I think we could all commend uh, Roger Penske and Penske Entertainment for being able to do uh, to preserve the long-term longevity of IndyCar because uh, the scenario where you lose Long Beach, which is easily your second most important, biggest race, uh, is uh, is uh, scary to say the least. If you're an IndyCar person, a shareholder, or a media person who covers the IndyCar series, but uh, yeah, I mean this is a hell of a story. Um, it's nice that it's public now because we can talk about it a little bit more. Um, and certainly, as things develop with this. I'll let you know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Apologies. I got a bit of a fever in thermal, but I had to power through this video. This was an important one to talk about, and I'm sure the discussion is going to be a hell of a thing in the comments. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.